Three zucchini without RPGs in a tank hazardous area. By the way, we swear a lot here. Fuck, they're fucking around here somewhere. Fucking stories for life. So bustards are firing, right? Welcome to the unliable and fabulous fantasy world. World with trenches and adrenaline, shelling in the phrase fuck you. Welcome. Where are you from, guys? We are from San Francisco. We are uh, NATO soldiers. Ah, wow. So cool. <laughs> yeah. God bless America. Uh, what the fuck is it? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Long life and health to you. A gift for you. <laughs> Bingo, thank you. Three shells fell here and did not explode. Yeah, three pieces. And the fourth one fucked up our trash can. There was a trash can right there. Then it was gone. That was the crater, right? Yes. The shell flew over there, into the trench to us. There are three more unexploited ones somewhere close. It's cool that we came to show where it hit when there is an artillery duel going on. You know how they say that a bullet never hits the same place twice? And at our positions, over there, five did. In one place. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Are you from Cherniev? From the Cherniev region, because you sound like you're from Zakarpatia. Your L is so specific. Well, this is how we talk at home. I just wanted to take off my armor, bitch. You arrive so fucking calm, you've just adapted, and then there are explosions. Get down! Sounds like these are ours. Ours are shelling them. Before the war, they were talking about who would go, who would not go. I was like, no, I work at a factory, I'm just a simple person. I lived in Kiev at the time, at Darnitsky district. I wake up because of an explosion. I was like, fuck, war. I joined my friends. And a night from 24 February I received an order. That's it. And then you may turn on a song by the Stooges, I want to be your dog. The same story as everyone's else. I just couldn't forgive myself if I stayed home. No one but us. In fact, how could I not come here? This place is thrash, hype and comedy, fucking stories for life. A caravan of fucking stories. Guys from Dnipro told me a story. Some other military guys came to their positions. The music was loud in their cars. Ukrainian armed forces will help song. Orc's body will lie in the ground. They've arrived, opened their cars, got out. They looked around, closed the car door and left. And as soon as they left, enemies start shelling. A car arrives, the doors open, guys are coming out, asking, let's say, is this a town? No, it's the town. Fuck, we're going the wrong way. They see the enemy drone. They all shoot it from their machine guns. Getting guy the car and leave, the tour stands stunned. He says, fuck, <laughs> they left and we've had a lot of shelling after. There was a time when we were on our way to our positions, but we were following the navigator. We drive in, and there's a sign, Buster's in 800 meters. We look at the navigator, yeah, well, well, it looks like it's straight ahead. The navigator is leading straight ahead, like 800 meters ahead, 800 ahead. Release the brakes, and then there's this the Ukrainian army officer said, stop, don't go. If he would come out a second later, that would be the end. And we would say goodbye to you. 
This is just an observation point. We collect the information, nothing more. We are making contact with enemies if there is a threat to our lives. Or if, let's say, enemy armored vehicles move to us. How far is it to the Bustards from here? 520 meters. There is one machine gun on the right side. I don't know exactly, but the boys saw the machine gun being carried there. And ammo boxes to it. Maybe they brought something else at night. And then our guys took the trophy large caliber machine gun. The positions were taken, and when retaken, and that machine gun disappeared. So most likely it could be where. The road, roughly speaking, is a tank hazardous area. There is an individual trench dug there. There's one matador. There's another one, RPGs, zucchini, all that stuff. We'll be fighting. Why not? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it could be. I'm not wearing a helmet. I'm not wearing anything. It's just fucking crouching. General Borsch, report the situation. Oh, you're taping something? Here's a chocolate bar. Thank you. Did you bring the chocolate? Yes. Is that what you were going for? And for a coffee. The guys make delicious coffee here. Thank you for the lend -lease. One tent for two. Good that we have two armored plates for one person. We came here with nothing. The boys here had Javelin, NLAW, Matador, RGV, RPG. Whatever you want. We had three zucchini without the RPG and two grenades. Because the pipe was taken away. In a tank dangerous area, for fuck's sake. You can take the zucchini from the RPG in your hand. And go into a bayonet attack. There's even a flag. Two of them. We will run with just the flag. Do you know why there are fewer enemy airplanes flying now? Because we have stingers. Do you know why our aviation is flying less now? Because we have stingers. They went into that house. And they controlled that forest. Drone. The drone is flying. How do we know if it's ours or not? And if not ours, then what? Well, fuck it. This could be ours. And just happen to miss a grenade. It just falls out, you know. Just for fun. And hits us. It's good that we're all together. Like one crowd. There is a possibility that we will all be fucked by one grenade. It looks like someone is riding a motorcycle in the sky. This is the wasp. Oh, is that the wasp? Oh, fuck, it's the wasp. Everything's fucking fine. This is not the wasp. No matter how much you want to. Subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Write a comment. Press the bell. We'll be raffling off some ground. Ground. From the trench. Competition.